a newbie. Newbie. Where you at? Competition uh -huh. is an important part of life. I try to teach my children that there will always be winners and losers. Mm, told you! In your face! I beat you! Alright guys, it's been a crazy 2020 and I got my top five bags that I want to talk to you guys about. They're not the best bags. I mean, they're just bags that I've reviewed in 2020 that I thought were pretty damn awesome. So we're going to go through them five through number one and we're going to start off with the VanQuest Ibex 26. It's right here. I was really impressed by VanQuest. We actually did a couple of the videos as far as the VanQuest bags. Oh, we got Irene. What's hey. up? What's up, Irene? <laughs> hey. What's up, Irene? What are you doing? We're doing the top five 2020 bags, EDC bags that I've reviewed. That's what we doing. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is the VanQuest Ibex 26 we're talking about right now. And we're going to go through a couple of bags and talk about them. I don't think I've seen this one. Yeah. Before. Yeah. I think I'll just wait for the video to come out. Okay. All right. All right. See ya, Irene. So <laughs> right here, <laughs> this bag right here is a great hiking bag. I really enjoyed this bag. It's a hiking slash like EDC bag. I think it leans more towards hiking, but the... the the form factor, the design of this, I was just so impressed with. Had to make my list. There, I'm gonna walk through a couple of things on this bag to make it so great. One thing is the customizability of this bag. So when you open it up, it's a clamshell opening, all YKK zips, of course, and you know, it just rips down. You gotta undo the pressure straps on the side, but it just rips down. And it just opened up to a full clamshell opening. You had like these organizer panels in here with the Velcro. I did a full review on this. I'll link it up in the description. But you had these like sticky cubes that, you know, VanQuest had so you could organize them. And they come in a thousand different sizes. I really enjoyed that about this bag. I mean, it had the lid with the pockets on it. Great water bottle pockets were missing on this one. <laughs> we're missing on this one. No water bottle pockets on this one. You can add them in. VanQuest has some add on features there that you can. Great top pocket on this bag right in the back right here. Super large. Stick, stick whatever you want in there. The harness system on the back of the bag was excellent. So the materials were like 500D. Cordura, you know, super, like I said, the back panel was super comfortable on this bag. Now, the drawbacks of this bag, you can see, it's, it's a pretty tall bag, and it's got that militaristic style, so some people like the military style, and some people won't, but for me, I actually liked it a lot, and then the weight was a drawback on this bag. I think it came in, like, close to five pounds, so that was kind of a negative on, on this bag. The price was pretty good. I think it was around like $200. Yeah, I remember it had these two grab handles on the back of it. So man, it actually had three grab handles on this bag. So, I mean, it was a, this is a great option for someone that's looking for a more ruggedized EDC pack. VanQuest Ibex 26. Let's go to number four, Mystery Ranch. Three day assault pack CL. This took the place of, in my lineup, the two day assault pack. I think that this bag is a little bit better made. It's just a better made bag out of the same line. Give me the same features, the, the awesome tri zip design right here in the middle. So basically, what that means is you can get into this pack a couple of different ways, right? You can unzip and get, you know, top access to the pack, or you can unzip it fully under the compression straps in the front and unzip it all the way down the middle. Number 10 YKK zips on this thing. Materials, 500D Cordura. You know, inside you got organization, a suspended laptop sleeve, a lot of space. This is a 30 liter pack, so this is a lot of space. And I tend to like larger packs for my EDC because it gives me options. I can EDC with the pack and I can do one bag travel, just, you know, weekend travel with the pack, to be totally honest. And the the this pack I also like 
was the water bottle pockets. The water bottle pockets on this pack are excellent. They're, they're more like a dump style pocket, and I said this in the review. It's more of a dump style pocket, but the, these pockets can take my headphones, they can take snacks, whatever I want. And then the best thing about this damn bag is the back panel. The shoulder straps on this bag are super comfortable, really comfortable. Love the adjustability on the back panel, so you got your, you know, you can raise and lower the back panel on this bag. You actually have two, so great external access on this bag. It's got two pockets right here where you can get in. The first one's a smaller pocket right here on the top, and then you have a very <laughs> large pocket right under that so you know super you know great amount of space all way almost up to my forearm so i like that now the drawbacks are kind of the same as the van quest bag where you got this militaristic look you know you got molly kind of molly slash pals webbing all the way around this pack and it does give you that you know that little you know army army ranger kind of look to it but for me, I look past that in this pack because I like it so much. I'm not a big Molly guy. I don't love, love, love Molly. But just the packs that I like to have the most features usually have some Molly attachments to it. I don't know why that is. But I just go for the, the more militaristic packs because of the features. Really like this pack. Now, the one thing that was the drawback on this pack specifically was the price. The price is $384, and that's gonna be outside of a lot of folks' budget as far as what they wanna spend on a pack. And I totally get that, totally understand that. But, and, and that's probably one of the reasons why it dropped kind of, it's a little lower in my top five because of the price and the fact that it's not, you know, something a lot of people are gonna buy because of the price. But number four in my top five, Mr. Uran Street A Assault Pack. My number three, <laughs> my number three pack is the Evergoods CPL 28 V2. This is the second iteration, even though this is the first iteration of the 28 liter pack and somebody hit me in the comments was like, shouldn't that be the V1? It should, but you know, cause it wasn't a, a CPL 28 when it first came out, but it's on the second iteration they name it you know if you make something you can name it whatever the hell you want so you know like i had kids i named them whatever the hell i wanted to name them you know so let's talk about this pack right here this is oh man this pack is another full clamshell opening pack great ykk zippers on this pack right here oh my goodness the zippers on this pack are some of the smoothest out there and then um inside you have the super great quality interior lining it's like a 400 something uh nylon in this pack so most packs don't give you that you know high quality interior lining two great pockets on the inside of the pack one larger one smaller and then you got like a little you know a little pocket right here you got some organization up here at the top definitely like that what they changed in the v2 version was the front pocket on this bag right here which i appreciate you know i think a lot of people out there will like yeah, put some organization so they did so you got in there you got some slip pockets in there like two slip pockets and a little mesh uh zipper pocket in there enough simple but enough for me and my edc now the back panel on this bag is awesome awesome the shoulder straps, like I said, when I first got it, I thought they were a little thin, but the contouring and this additional little fabric that they put up here at the top of this bag makes this back panel probably one of the best back panels that I've ever seen on a backpack. I mean, the contour of, of the back panel itself, you see how it's got this natural curve to it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, the fabric on here is just, you know, it's a, it's a nylon that they've selected for this pack. And I, I mean, it's a hit and miss thing. It's, for, for me, it's not that bad. It does pick up a little dirt. You know, when you set it down on the ground, you, you'll notice even now, you, you see the little, you know, little dust going on right there. And another drawback of this pack right here is the way that this organizational panel is set up. So it's set up so that you can access the stuff while it's on bodies, but 
when you flip it has to be on your left shoulder that's the drawback and most people i know are right handed so for me i like the you know i do the cool kid thing i throw the backpack on like this and then i'll flip it around and then the organizational panel is the wrong way so that's one thing that was a drawback and then one of the drawbacks for me and i don't necessarily hear a lot about it when they talk about this pack is the handles for me because i know i i edc this pack and i take it in and out of my car i take it you know off and onto the train i'm using the handles a lot and the handles the way that they're kind of made they're a little sharp a little uncomfortable for me when i'm grabbing this pack but it's like you know toughen up george a little bit you know it's toughen up a little bit but that's that's what it is I mean, the grab handles aren't the most comfortable, but that's my number three pack, the Evergood CPL V2 28. I did the name wrong. It's the Evergoods CPL 28 V2. Got the name right that time. Go Rug GR1, the slick edition. This made the, the list last year, you know? I was on there with the Go Ruck last year, <laughs> just had the regular Go Ruck, then they came out with the slick edition, improved on what's already great in the Go Ruck. I mean, I don't really need to tell you about Go Ruck and how good Go Ruck is. Everybody kind of knows. If you follow backpacks, you know this is a great pack. Inside, let's open it up. There's a little theme going on here, you know, <laughs> with the with the clamshell openings. I love the clamshell opening packs. Same thing, got, got the mesh pocket right here, another little zipper pouch. I got the fuel pocket because they, they are a couple. They don't leave home without each other. So this one will always be in here. I don't have it loaded up right now. Little pocket right here. Got your um, Molly slash Pals webbing attachment points. The fuel pocket can go up there if you want it to, but I like to leave, leave it loose in this pack. Now the back panel on this pack is excellent. Give it like two to three months to kind of get you know, mold it to your body. Comes out pretty hard on when you first get it out the box, but you know, give it a couple of months and it feels great. I love it. I love the style of this pack. It's got this, you know, utilitarian, you know, unassuming kind of look to it. Now we'll talk about a couple of the negatives. Even though this pack is tough as hell, rugged as hell, the thousand deep that Cordura that they use on this pack can be tough, on your clothes. So a lot of times, you know, I do wear a suit to work a lot of times. So this will wear the hell out of my suits. You know, <laughs> this, this, I mean, it will wear the hell out of a t-shirt. It just grabs everything that it kind of touches. And another drawback to this pack is this front pocket. Would be great if they could figure out a different way to, for this front pocket, but it is what it is. It's kind of a place where I just dump my keys and my wallet, when it's not packed out, when it's, this bag is fully packed out, good luck trying to get your hand in this pocket. But that's kind of what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. But that is my number two pick right here. This is the GORUCK GR1 Slick Edition. Still on Huckberry, they came back. Like I said, they wanna come back, they came back. I didn't feel right without giving an honorable mention out there. Damn, you know how you used to get honorable mention on field day when you didn't win anything, but you still got a ribbon? <laughs> this is kind of my honorable mention pick. This is the Mixed Works Falcon right here. Really enjoyed this pack. I mean, I, I'm thinking of, I'm gonna wear this pack tomorrow. At, out of my collection, this pack has the, the aesthetic that I just love. This is a roll top. It's out of my top five, but love the pack. I wanted to show it because I just enjoyed the company and the brand and just, it was just a great pack. Came out of Poland. It took a while for it to get here. The, the story of this pack right here is the back panel and the shoulder straps. Super comfortable. Love the fact that you, when you go on their website, you can kind of customize. You can choose your color. You can choose some options. And if you get really funky, you can get, you know, send an email to them and they'll do some super customizing options for you. It's got a little pocket on the side right here, quick access pocket. And then what makes this a roll top is the fact that you can get into the main section right here 
on the side. Get access to everything that fall usually falls to the bottom and you gotta really reach for in a roll top. No, just use the quick access on the side. Got a slash pocket right here on the front. Like that a lot. And then the Cobra buckle on the front to actually open the roll top up. And you get a lot of space. I think this pack is like 27 liters. I mean, just when you when you access the roll top, you know, you get a little bit more space. But check out the interior lining. As for that specifically, this is a customized red interior lining. I do have a laptop. It's going to be hard as hell for you guys to see in there. And that's the kind of the downfall of a roll top is, you know, even though I have the side access, it's still kind of hard for you guys to see in there. And I have a suspended laptop sleeve. And I also have a tablet sleeve and a second pocket in there. So a lot of different, you know, organizational options inside of this pack. Does have some compression straps on the side, but I really enjoyed using this pack. There, there are some downsides for it, and that's probably why I didn't make the list. The airflow on the back panel is not the greatest. You know, the airflow is not the greatest. The access is limited a little bit in the price. Like I said, you were talking about those customizable options. When you, If you just get the bag straight, just regular out the, the door straight, it's 270 and then you throw on shipping from Poland, you know, we in the threes now. We, we talking about Mystery Ranch three day assault prices. So to get this pack customized like the way you want it, it's gonna be expensive. Yeah, I'm glad Irene left and we're, she's not here because she would know that I paid like close to 350 for this pack right here. But I love it. We keep that between me and you. That doesn't go anywhere. For my number one pick, number one, it's a pack that just came out. This Able Carry Max pack. I just did a review on this and this pack is excellent. Probably the best I've seen. That's why it's sitting right here at number one because this is the best pack I've seen this year it has a lot of things considered the price even though it's a little high for most folks I think for EDC like a specific EDC pack it's a good price so the construction on it is really like one of the standout features it's got the DX 21 material with Cordura <laughs> thousand d cordura on the back and all the hard use places like on the bottom of the bag able carry was coming for people out here i think a lot of people were sleeping on them or didn't think that they could produce what they were producing or they weren't paying attention but able carry is the bomb so uh ykk zips with lockable zippers on this pack right here the internal the in the internal lining in this pack is not like a high vis orange, but it's like this, you know, a lighter color. You got pockets right here. You got a pocket right here. You got interiors, a lot of interior space and a clamshell opening again with the theme of this kind of thing. You got a little pocket, a little hidden pocket right here. This is perfect for my little Thule power shuttle that I stick right, right here. Definitely like that. And then, on the front of the bag, you do have a little organizer pocket. It, it has space, like all of the pockets throughout these bags have independent, leader independency, so you can stick items in and it doesn't encroach in another section in the bag. So this pocket does have some little slip pockets in there so you can put your little pins or whatever you want in there. And then I like the back of this bag. It's, they call it this, the work compartment. It's got this Aquagar zipper that goes all the way around. You unzip and then you get to this great, you know, work compartment. You have a suspended laptop sleeve, a right here. Then you have a tablet sleeve. You got a pocket up here where you can stick your, like, your charging block or whatever. Or if you want to put some SD cards or something like that, batteries for charging, like it. And you have a quick access pocket at the top as well. Um, up here kind of tight in this quick access pocket that's one of the things i didn't like but the size the size for me is good the size for other people may be a little big i think that you know a 30 liter pack for you know someone that's above six foot is like yeah i can wear this it's it it fits my frame just perfectly it may be just a little big maybe just a little big but somebody under six foot is going to be like 
nah, that's too big for everyday care. I want something that's like 25 liters or under. And I totally understand that. But for, for me, it's like, yeah, I'm good with this. Grab handles on the, the side of this pack and on the top. Definitely like it. You know, um, the style, the green may be for some folks and may not be for other folks, to be totally honest. I, I thought the green, this is not my first choice was the green, but actually it's worn on me over time and I actually like it a lot. I look forward to the production version of this and it comes in the black and I'll be jumping right on that. You know, I'm gonna definitely pick that up. But you know, this is an excellent pack, man. There's, I mean, there's so much stuff. Water bottle pocket on the side right here that kind of goes. You know, it does eat up some of the interior space, but you can fit a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle in there and you know, it just zips up. You know, so you got your water bottle pocket, you got organization in this pack. The back panel and the harness system is super comfortable. Able carry with a closed cell phone. I mean, you know, closed cell phone is, I don't know what that means, but I know it's comfortable as hell. That's, that's kind of where I'm at with it. You know, it's got the luggage pass through in the back. Two, you know, channels right here just giving you a lot of airflow. Man. This is a great pack. I was surprised that Abel Carey took my number one spot and knocked out the GR1. Just, the GR1 just has problems with the, the front pocket. And it's kind of like, damn, why can't you get that together? But, you know, the, the in innovation that companies are coming with, with newer materials, they're blending materials, you know, they deserve it. Abel Carey, from my eyes, from my opinion, from my humble opinion, I can't say about other packs that I haven't reviewed. And... I'm curious to know what's your top five packs. Leave it down in the comments. What's your top five packs? What are you using? Maybe it's not even a top five. Maybe it's most people aren't bad, super bad people like me. What what is your everyday carry? Leave it down in the comments. Maybe you just have the one. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to manage my addiction. <laughs> I'm trying to manage my addiction. I try to keep it the five. Like these are the five that I have. The rest of them are bags that I'm like reviewing, and they eventually end up coming out of my house. But I only keep five packs, trust me. My wife would kill me if I had like, you know, just storage bins and storage bins full of backpacks that I wasn't using like that. It's not, <laughs> it's not a good use of our money. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. If you love this video, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel and gets the video out to more people. Gets the new EDC packs out to more people. And that's what it's all about. If you love the content, subscribe to the channel. Always got room for more subscribers. And guess what, guys? It's totally damn free. So if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. If you got questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Two, three, four. Your turn. All right. Move four spaces. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I won. I'm the man in your face.